In today's video, I'll be walking you through how to create, edit, and use your Asana templates within your projects. Now, using Asana templates can save you a huge amount of time and streamline your processes for setting up your projects. And more importantly, templates ensure that you maintain consistency across all of your projects within your workspace. But if you're new here, my name is Marquis Murray. I am the CEO of Surface and an Asana partner, and I make videos like this every single week to help you get the most out of your Asana investment. Now, let's take a look at the demo. Now, here we've got our project already. I've set it up with some dummy tasks here as you can see and I'm not gonna add in a lot of automation or assignees or due dates here I'm purposely gonna leave it blank and we're just gonna jump right into how to create templates so within your project as long as you are a project editor or project admin you can go up to the little arrow here and you can click save as template now what's important is to understand where your template is actually being saved in this case I am in the YouTube and webinars demo team so that's where my template is gonna show up and I'll make sure I show you that towards the end of the video here so again we're gonna go in here we're gonna click save template and we're gonna be able to save what our template is and so what I typically will do is just have variable placeholder it's not a real variable like in the case of creating rules within Asana but this would be uh, let's just put project type so that anyone who is using or starting with this template knows what kind of information has to go in those brackets and so you can change the privacy settings here where anyone on the team can go in and edit this template if you want to lock that down then I would suggest just that you change the settings here where anyone on your team can use it but can't edit it or it's a template where it's private to you and whoever else you want to add into the space. Uh, best practice for, for us at our team and what we recommend for our clients is that we have it that anyone can use the template. So one of the best practices here is that we make sure that there's some governance around how these templates are created and managed. If anyone can go in and edit these templates then it removes some of that consistency that we're trying to create. So in this case I'm going to select anyone can use this template and then we can assign who can edit that template afterwards let's go and create the template now now it's going to populate and depending on how many tasks you have here it's going to start to populate them so the more tasks you have um, in your template the more time it will take to populate because we just had dummy information here it didn't take that long now what we're able to do is set this up just like a project there's some things that you can't do and you'll kind of see that as I go through the demo here today but what we can do is we can add a sign here. so marquee is going to be assigned here I'm going to have Nadia assigned there test B and then happy Gilmore is going to be assigned to that project and then we'll have Matthias assigned to that task sorry and then we're gonna set some due dates and so what's nice about this is you can um, start to think about you know the time it takes for these tasks to be created and the reason why we're creating a template in the first place is because this is a project that we are launching over and over again we should generally know how long these tasks are gonna take to complete how long you know before the launch of a project or a campaign we need to complete these or how long after the project starts we need to complete these and so we'll already have a lot of this information, but you can adjust this as you go. So I'm gonna say that for task number one, this is gonna be due seven days after the project start date. And you'll see what the project start date looks like when we actually use this template and get it going. So that's gonna be due one day after, there we go. We can also set a date range if we did wanna have that, but I'm just gonna keep it as single due dates. This one here is gonna be due three days after the project starts and so on and so forth. And I'm just gonna populate some of these here six days and then five days like that okay you can always go in and you can add yields here as well you can go in you can add rules to these different sections and the project as well you can add in bundles you can add in task templates you can do whatever you want in a template again it works very much like a project with some subtle changes okay and so in this case we have a let's just put in a little rocket here and there it is we're just gonna say this is project launch or you know what? I'm gonna put campaign launch in this case for our, our very simple use case all right and then maybe we'll mark that as a milestone okay because we can make those kinds of changes and so let's say that this one would be due 30 days after the actual project is started that's great and we don't need an assignee there let's say or maybe our project managers are assigning now we would have had all of our tasks cascading moving towards this eventual launch date and that's great because we know we have to get started on these items right and work them through until we get to this eventual date okay but in some cases you actually want to work backwards from the campaign launch date to the start of when the tasks need to be starting and so in that case rather than having this set to after we can go in and we can set it to before okay and so it says project start date but what it really means is project launch date and I'll show you exactly why okay so when we click on let me just go back there when we click right down here on the after project start date we can see we have a couple of options the way that it's set up right now is that 
yes, after the project starts, after we launch this template, you're going to be able to cascade the dates as normal, right? But then in this case, we want to work backwards where all of the dates that we set in here will work backwards from when the project is due or when the campaign is launching and work backwards or a WBS in this case, so work back schedule, okay? And in this case, Asan has gotten really smart and it's helped us to skip weekends, okay? So we're not going to be assigning these tasks on weekends, which is really, really nice. And so in this case, if we route this backwards, you're going to see now that this is when the project is going to be due. And when we launch this template, it's going to ask us, when is your project due? We'll put in a date and then it will automatically set up all of these dates here to be 37 days out, 27 days out. So we're actually counting down as we get closer to that due date, which is really, really nice. So give that a try. Let me know what you think. I get a lot of questions about how do we work back with our campaigns? This is exactly how we would do it. Now, in the case of the assignees, we don't always know who the assignee is going to be. Sometimes we have multiple designers, we have multiple copywriters, and it will just depend on who's available and who we can resource at the time that we're getting started with our project. And so in this case, rather than assigning it to a single person, when we click in here, we can set a project role that dynamically assigns that task when the project is deployed. And so in this case, we're going to go in, we're going to create a project role, and we're going to add our first role. So we're going to put in designer. That's our very first role. And we're going to add a project manager as Asana is suggesting. And then we're going to add a copywriter in this case. All right. And so now instead of assigning it to a single person, we can click on this plus right here to assign it dynamically to a designer, a project manager. And then we're actually going to have two copywriters on this project like so. And then in this case, this is going to be, what are we at now? Let's say 20 days before, and then we have 18 days before, and then we have 15 days before. So we're giving ourselves enough time to get everything done and approved and make sure that all of our T's are crossed and our I's are dotted. So there we have it right there. And you can see on the left hand pane, all of the different roles that we've assigned. We can go and we can edit those roles. We can remove them or we can add new roles as well. Okay. One thing I want to point out before we move on is that with the project permissions here, you can set who can modify the workflows and the information and the appearance of this project as well. And so you can have the project admins and editors or members of the project can do this, or we just limit it to project admins only. And again, in some cases, you may just want to have this toggled on so that that you're not getting you know too many cooks in the kitchen so to speak and messing with the template and then same thing who can share manage and add people to this project do you want everyone to be able to do that or just the project admins we're going to lock it down for right now so just the project admins okay so that is the project content again we can do anything we want we can set up the different views we can set those as default if we want to we're just going to keep it really simple as a list right here and then in the overview this is the text or the information you would see in the overview section of your project so when you click over to that tab, you're going to see whatever information here. So this could be um, how we will work together. This is project information, like so project team, whatever you put in here is what's going to show up in the overview when this template is deployed, All right? And then we're going to go to our settings. This is my most favorite part of the templates, aside from the fact that templates exist, period. But you can put in what the description of this template is going to be. So this is a campaign launch template with a WBS structure. There we go. And now we can assign what team it's in. So if we created the template in the wrong team, we can easily change it. We can again set the global privacy of this template as well. And then we can add different team members to it. So just like we would add team members to a team as a member or a project as a member, we can do the same thing with our templates. And so I'm going to invite Happy Gilmore. And rather than just allowing Happy Gilmore to use this template, I want Happy Gilmore to also be able to edit this template with me. I can also change ownership to another person where they can now have all these permissions and be able to change and edit things as they go. And again, my last point here, uh, something that is really exciting and it's really cool when you do it right, is you can automatically have it that when these templates are deployed, you can add them to a portfolio of your choice. And so in this case, let's see what portfolios I have. Just type in a random letter. Asanathon 2023. Oh, Asanathon's coming up uh, for 2024. Be on the lookout for that. So now we know that when our template is deployed as a project, it's automatically going to be assigned and added to this portfolio for us. So we don't have to do that extra step. So now it's added in there. There we go. And we're going to click done because now we are finished. I may be a bit biased in saying so, but if you haven't already done it, I highly recommend subscribing to our newsletter, All Systems Go. Each week we deliver the latest news, blog posts, and even free resources on Asana and workflow optimization directly to your inbox. The best part, it's totally free. 
It's the perfect resource you're looking for to improve your system building skills and productivity through process improvements. All Systems Go is designed to be your go-to guide in navigating workflow optimization, especially if you're new to it. Click the link below to subscribe. All right, and so now, because we are in our YouTube webinar and demo team here, we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna see that our template that we just created is right there, okay? And so we can click on this to edit the template, go back in, make any changes that we need to. Of course, you can go in and enter things in the task description. You can add subtasks and sections in here, okay? Let's go back to our template one more time. We can go in here and as you saw, we we can go and we can star this and so it shows up in the side panel if this is a template that we're using all the time or modifying all the time and then when we're ready to actually deploy it we can go in and we can click on it and say use template or from anywhere in asana it doesn't matter what team we're in we can go in and we can go new project use a template if we are in the team where it originates from it will be right there for us if we're not in the right team we can simply go there and select the team where we know that template lives and deploy from there but in this case let's go in we're gonna go use that template and now we can go project type and we can go a sonathon 2024 which we are planning for right now be on the lookout for that uh, we can set our permissions for this project okay as well and then when is the due date of this project so at this point in time it is July 26 2024 our sonathon is on where are we at uh, September the 25th okay so that's when the event is going to take place and so we're gonna go in we're gonna continue and now we can assign dynamically our different roles. So who's our designer? The speed's gonna be our designer. Our project manager is gonna be me. And then our copywriter is going to be Happy Gilmore. So we're gonna go into our project now and it's gonna take a second to populate and you'll see a couple things. Those roles that we assign will automatically populate minus the ones where we actually added an assignee to them. And so it's just gonna spin up. There we go, perfect. And you can see that August 5th is when we would start going and our campaign launched the 25th. That that's when the event actually is. And these last few here were automatically populated. Now, in this case, I made a mistake, obviously. You can have one dynamic role when assigning and creating these project templates. So if you had a second copywriter, you'd have to have another role that was copywriter two in this case, all right? So if we had done that, we would have had the ability to bring in another person as copywriter two. But that is it. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you've struggled with this or if you have any questions and always feel free to reach out. Again, if you like this video, share it with someone, click the, the like button, click the bell so you never miss a video. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.